Hi, welcome to another Workshop Wednesday. Today's video is going to focus on paper collage making. I'm Claudia from the IMAS. Good to see you. First, we're going to do this 3D rolled paper collage and then the 2D scrap paper collage. For the first type of collage, you will need double-sided tape, an X-Acto knife or scissors, glue stick, a piece of card stock, and some magazines to cut out. First, I'm just going to square my cardstock so that I get a nice square canvas to work on. Then I'm gonna look through my magazine and start to cut out images that I can use to roll up. I'm looking specifically for big blocks of color. So you can see in this one, there's a lot of green at the bottom, a lot of blue at the top. I'm not really looking for a lot of words, just big chunks of bright colors. Um, I started thinking about my color palette and realized that I was gravitating towards blues and greens and actually this like plush blush pink. So now that I've got my magazine pages cut, I am going to roll them up. So first you're going to crease the end of the paper like this and then roll it up. You can do it very tightly or a little loose. I'm going to roll it up so that it's about an inch to the end and then apply some glue. And then I'm going to finish rolling it up. Hold it for a second. And then I'm going to apply some glue to the seam on the outside. And this is going to help to keep it from unraveling. My paper here was torn at that corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to square it off. I want nice clean edges. And again, you're going to crease it. Make sure your crease is straight, and this is going to help you roll straight. You can try cutting the paper into different widths to get different size rolls. And then with about an inch left, I'm going to apply some glue. And then finish rolling it. Hold it for just a sec and then apply some glue to the seam on the outside. And then I'm gonna do this for all the sheets. And here are my rolled up pages. Now you could throw them onto the canvas like this and glue them down exactly how they landed. This is called chance art. But what I'm going to do is think about how I want to arrange them. I'm gonna leave some of them um, stacked like this and then a, a few maybe going off the page. Whenever you're ready to glue all of your rolls down, um, make sure it's exactly what you want before you start putting on the tape. But you're going to get your double-sided tape and put it on the seam. And then just peel off the covering like this. And you can place your roll down onto the canvas. Just give it a gentle push and it'll stick right on. For the ones that are stacked like this, I'm only going to apply tape where it's touching another roll. That way I don't have to waste tape. And also if you just put tape where it's not gonna to stick to anything else, it's just going to attract a lot of dust.
Now that I'm done, I'm going to clean up my area and put away my art tools. And this is my finished 3D rolled paper collage. For the second type of paper collage, it's going to be 2D. For the supplies, you will need various types of paper, a glue stick, and some scissors. For my paper, I made sure to find different types so I'd have different textures. Starting with this red piece, I decided that I wanted to do a flower. I'm being very inspired by spring at the moment. So I'm just cutting out an abstract representation of a flower petal, if you will. You can do whatever type of flower you like. Um, you can totally just take scraps and glue them on top of each other and just do a complete abstract collage. And remember, you're not gonna glue anything down until you're absolutely ready and sure that it's the design that you want. I thought that this green cookie was perfect for the middle of the flower. And using this magazine page, I'm going to do a ripping technique to get a raw edge, as you see here. So I'm just taking it and I'm ripping it away from myself. And that's gonna reveal the white under the color of the page. And I'm gonna use these pieces that I'm tearing to make some grass at the bottom of my picture. I'm just cutting them to size and thinking about how I want to arrange them, I'm gonna put the darker ones towards the back and the lighter ones towards the front. And that way it looks like the grass has some type of dimension to it, even though this is a 2D or flat piece of artwork. So now that I'm ready to glue, I'm gonna go one by one and glue my pieces down, starting with the pieces that are in the background first. This is gonna get a little messy, but that's okay. That's what collage making is. And then I'm going to start applying things that are going to go in my middle ground. So the thing uh, between the background and the foreground, such as my leaves and my petals. And then I'm going to start gluing the grass down. And the grass is going to be sort of like my foreground. It's going to be more towards the front of the picture um, since it's going to cover up the stem of the flower, which is going to make it look like it's the background of the picture. And this is, again, another way to add dimension to a 2D piece of work. And now that I've applied all my grass, I'm just going to trim off the edges. I love these pair of scissors, by the way. They're my favorite. I am left-handed, as you might have noticed, and it, they work great. And here is my finished piece of artwork. Uh, this turned out really fun. I'm really happy with the different textures it has and the way that this teared paper looks. Up close, it's awesome. Cool. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me on another Workshop Wednesday. Share your art with us and tag us at the IMAS Museum, hashtag IMAS Artist. Visit us online, theimasonline.org, to learn more and to support. See you next time. Bye.